Thrash City tries his best to cite his sources. All research done in preparation to this session is available in the reference link in the description. Dive deeper into the sources to view the information firsthand. America, land of the free, home of the brave. The only country in the world where millions of its own citizens publicly plot on raiding a top secret heavily armed military base just because they want to see them aliens. A place where Kyles, Naruto runners, and rock throwers all gather in the middle of the desert to take over the base with hopes of clapping some sweet alien cheeks. What historical events led up to this soon to be massacre? Well, we finna find out. What's happening? It's your history tutor. Thrash City, here to teach y'all about American history. The Strike. The First Settlers Part 2. Now today we're going to be going over another explorer who landed in America before Columbus did. Now this dude's a beast. This dude's a Northman. This dude's a Viking. I'm talking about none other than Leif Erics. North side Long Beach, hit the counter, make a dollar flip it, split the dollars with my mama children. Leif Erikson is a Voyager, son of Eric the Red, who was also another Voyager. Now, if you don't know who Eric the Red is, y'all need to Google him. He's a whole other beast of his own. Anyways, Leif Erikson is from Bratlet. Bratlet is now a town known as Kwasasuk in Greenland. So this is how the story goes. In the year 986, there was an explorer, a voyager, named Bajarni Herjolson. Now Bajarni was on his way to Bratlet, right? But before he got to Bratlet, he accidentally found a couple other lands, and he seen them, didn't land on them, didn't name them. He was like, this don't look like Bratlet. Nah, we going on. This don't look like it, we going on. And then he found it. So when he got to Bratlet, he was telling everybody, oh yeah, we found some lands over there. We didn't know what they were, but we know there was some y'all hood, so we just dipped out. Now Leif heard about this and he's like, turn up, other lands? But you said there ain't nothing on them. What? Okay. He's like, I'm about to go find some. So Leif went up to Bajarni and was like, hey yo, what's good with your ship? Bajarni's like, yeah, you can have a ship, bro, that's good. So they fix the ship up, he gets 35 of his homies, and they all get ready to go to, to, to find those other lands that he was talking about. But before that, he's like, he goes up to Eric the Red, his dad, and was like, yo, I want you to lead the voyage for this joint. And he's like, nah, bro, I'm too old, I probably won't even survive this. And plus, this is your time, my dude, son, Erickson. So he's like, yeah, I am for to make this happen. I'm the family member dripping in the most sauce. I'm about to be the next goat, and I want to be the very best like no one ever was. So they dip out. So after a while of sailing, Leif arrives at the, the lands that Bajarin was talking about, right? And he was like, damn, there's no grass, and there's ice from the shore all the way to the mountains. He's like, damn, bro, there really is here. Like, he wasn't playing. So he decided to take off, but before he did, he's like, yo, Bajarin was f***ing up because he didn't name the land. At least I'ma name it before we go. And he was like, this land is now Helleland, which is Newfoundland in Northern Canada. So Leif left Helleland, went sailing again, found another shore, looked onto it and seen wood and sand and didn't really see anything else. He was just like, wow, there ain't nothing here either. Damn. He said, but you already know, we gotta name it. It's wood on the floor, Markland. So Mark is like wood in their language, I suppose. So he just pretty much seen wood, it's woodland. And that's Nova Scotia. Did I say that shit right? No. Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. So they leave Markland. They sell for about two days. They arrive at Nantucket or Cape Cod or Barnstable off of Mount Hope Bay. Nobody knows this is legitimate millennium ago. What? Wherever it was where they landed, they liked it. So they set up for the winter and they built their houses and all that. They liked it because the grass didn't wither away as much so they could raise land animals and didn't have to fish for salmon all the time, right? They liked it because there was more sunlight in the daytime, so it was literally more lit over there. It's lit. They also liked it because um, in winter, there wasn't no snow. So that was tight. So you mean to tell me it's cold, but it's not cold? Okay. So after they get their houses set up, they get accustomed to the land, you know, they're all settled in. Then Leif is like, okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have half of us stay at home and then half of us go out and explore the land. Everybody return back before nightfall and nobody split up, all right? So that's what they do. They 
head out. Now, Leif actually got there with his foster father named Triker. Apparently he was a German, right? They return back from their exploring and Triker's missing one day. And Leif loses it. He goes off. My boy started making speeches and everything. I told y'all not to leave. You know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be back before nightfall. What are y'all splitting up for? How do you lose my foster father? On oh, everything, I got whoopings from him. Like we grew up together, all this. How y'all lose my boy? So you know what I'm saying? They strap up, they get their axes and spears or whatever the hell else, bows and arrows and you know what I'm saying? They strap, they ready. They don't know what, what the hell happened to Trifle. They don't know like if he got shot, they don't know if he got abducted. They don't know if he got eaten, but they just know they're about to go find their home. So it's on. Leif gathers 14 of his homies. Yo, it, it's, it's, let's go bust some heads, find out where my boy is, who's abducting homie. And then uh, about like 12 and a half minutes later, um, Triker rolls up with some grapes. So Leif was like, Triker, where were you, my dude? What happened? And Triker was like, why are you tripping? He's like, Triker, give me one reason why I shouldn't deck your shit right now. One reason, I thought you was dead. You see how we strapped? We was gonna come find you. We didn't know what the hell happened to you. And he's like, bruh, chill. I found grapes. And he's like, you got purple? He like, I got grapes. So he's like, oh, snap, turn up. So what they did is they spent the whole winter there, right? Then they took the, the grapes and a bunch of grape vines and they sailed back to Brazil. But before they did, you already know what he did. He had to name the land and it was called Vinland because they found vines there and grapes. So Lev gets back to Bratlid, right? He got street cred, he got riches, so you know he's icy. Get it? Greenland is cold, icy. Never mind, I'm gonna stop. He also got all the Greenland thotties on him, so you know he, you know, he's swimming in sauce right now. And lastly, one other thing he got was a new name. They called him Leif the Lucky. He got riches, and upon his name was respect. Put some respect on my name. Y'all understand me? And y'all saying my name, put some respect on it. And that's pretty much it when it comes to Leif Erikson's saga of discovering America. So this begs the question, why didn't the Northmen take over the land? They were there 500 years before Columbus. Why, when Columbus got there, why weren't the Northmen, like, well established? Now that's where your homework comes in. You see, I say the best part for your homework, you go back and read the references, go look at the sources, you'll see why they're not well established. And that's some crazy shit. Like there's <laughs> all types of battles and swords swinging and you know what I'm saying? Some M. Night Shyamalan type stuff's popping off there, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna let you read it. You can read it though. That's it for Learn With Thrash City, American History. The first set was part two. Join me next Tuesday where we go over the final part of the first settlers and shit, it's 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 not what you think it's gonna be so you ain't gonna want to miss that one i'm gonna f with y'all next tuesday stay up and keep grinding stainless, stainless skill, skill beats, beats.